Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 following my career Fakwa Freights, a subsidiary of SD Logistics. You join us in Norwich, we're out looking for work. We hear that Juicens has got quite a bit going on at the minute. So we're going to head over to Juicens, see what they've got for us. Uh, hopefully, plenty of work remaining in the UK. If not, we're off hunting elsewhere. So uh, I'll see you when we get there. So luckily for us, Juicens had one job left when we arrived, and it's to take some reef tiles up to Grimsby. So they've hooked us up, and we're ready to go. Let's get the show on a road. Now, as we're going along, you may notice I have made a slight adjustment to the field of view. I think we were running at an 80 field of view, 80 degrees. I've set it to 90. It should make it a little bit easier for <laughs> looking at the mirrors. That's what I'm hoping. Without such a drastic head turn, I find that that's, that's more the issue with me, is that whole, by the time I'm looking at the mirror, sometimes I can't see out the front of the cab so I don't bother looking, whereas if we can still see that we're going forwards, like you would in real life, because it's just sort of turn your head a little bit and look with your eyes. So I'm hoping that's going to make things a little bit better, plus we get to see a little bit more. I don't want it too wide, I don't want to be able to see both mirrors at the same time. I can also see my little mirror to to check for cars down at the front now as well. We got that installed to stop me from smacking into cars, and I still kept smacking into them. But again, because the field of view was uh, quite narrow. Turn left. I think Norwich to Grimsby is a, a run that we've done a few times. I did have a little look to see where we need to head to. Uh, there's still quite a few places. Uh, we've still got to get down to uh, Dover and Calais. We've not actually done any deliveries down there. So hopefully they can come up. Croydon in London. We need to go down there. And, you know, there's um, a few. I think Cardiff is still waiting to be visited. Most of Scotland is still waiting to be visited. We've got some, some towns and cities in the Midlands and up north that still need to be, be delivered to. Still got quite a bit of work. It's just getting the jobs to come in where we want them. If if it starts to uh, to get too difficult, we might have a word with uh, SD Logistics Manager and see if he can hook us up some jobs to specific places. See if he can tailor us some contracts. Because he's a good dude like that. He'll he'll sort us out some jobs. still raining which is a little bit frustrating we were hoping to have less rain since uh, we were hitting the warmer months but, and I reduced the rain but it's, it's still it's still coming it doesn't matter what you do the game the game seems to know that the UK is wet all the time but it's not at the minute it's not not at the time of recording this anyway Plus, I seem to have uh, brake issues with when it's raining. I don't stop very well. What I was really hoping for was some some sort of closer journeys, and maybe um, getting a, I don't know what I'm indicating for getting a couple of these in one, because at the minute we're having to do some recordings. It seems weird, doesn't it? Like, we were doing streams because we couldn't record. But now, uh, my Sunday mornings at the minute are occupied because of my partner's work schedule. So I'm having to try and squeeze the recordings in where I can. So I do apologise if you hear any noise in the background. 
I have to do a, do a daytime recording. Rain is gone, finally. And I think it's probably for the next sort of two or three weeks we'll have a have a Sunday uh, video on demand rather than a Sunday stream or ETS. I think I've, I've covered this a couple of times now. Recordings, I find a better sort of really 20 to 40 minutes for a trucking video. And then um, obviously for a stream, stream as long as you like, people come in and out. Obviously people don't come in and out of videos, they, they come and they leave and that's it. Didn't indicate, so we'll give me a little tick tick there. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't know what we'll do. We'll, if we can get some short ones, I'm going to bunch them together. I don't want to do really, really long recordings. Not, not really. And I know, like, a lot of the guys that do tend to watch, tend to watch in bulk or prefer to have a longer video. But then, like, for, <laughs> for growth-wise, and that that sort of stunts us. And we are trying to grow as well here. And I do appreciate everyone that is supporting the channel, everyone that watches the videos and gives a like, leaves a comment, that's awesome. You guys are awesome, it's, it's really nice to see. The, uh, the trucking is like a, a staple for us. We have to get some in. It was, it was a bit strange when we went a few months without any trucking. So we want to we wanna keep it going. And I'm trying to find ways of doing that. I might even try and work in whether it be a stream or or one or one or two off um, ATS Keep right. uh, trucking trips. I might try and find something specific to do with it because I haven't been on ATS for a while. So we want to want to try and get on there and have some progress with that because we are we are tiny. Fuck bar freights in the in the US is not exactly growing. We were rolling with the convoy. Uh, but I sort of got out of sync with all the mods that everyone has been put in and put out and getting the time then to, to join them to do that is it's obviously another challenge. Got to turn into a nice day today. I head on straight. So, a little bit about the job before I uh, ram up someone's backside. It is roof lights, it is uh, five tons, so it's not very heavy. We're going to Grimsby to a company, uh, so Pune and Nagel. Never heard of them. There's about four and a half hours left on the trip. A little over 200 miles to go. And it's a 28,000, no, 20,000, sorry, 20,883 pounds sterling on the payment. So that's nice. Um, one of our drivers have just finished the delivery as well because we were at 280 something thousand. And we're now at 30. No, we're not. We're now at 300. I can't give me numbers out today. 300,000. So, soon be able to purchase a new truck and hire a new driver. Filling them out. The money comes in now. The money comes in quite nicely. I think we've got about 11, 12 drivers, maybe even more. We did, I believe, we purchased a new truck and hired a new driver. Uh, last stream, which was a few weeks ago now, but I 
I think to be comfortable, we want about uh, 320,000 to buy the truck, get the driver, and still, you know, have enough pocket change for if I crash the truck, <laughs> which is always a possibility. Show the traffic, I love that. Just try not to sit in the fast lane for too long. I don't know what it is today. I cannot clear my throat and I can't get my words out. But there might be a lot of edited silence in this one. So we're going to be jumping on the M11. But no, we're not. Oh, coming off the wrong way. Oh, no. <laughs> this has gone all kinds of wrong now. Now we're off for a long one. <laughs> Let's see if we can find our next junction. He said keep right, and I went left. <laughs> it's a classic. We're probably going to have to go all the way down because of how the road layout is. Go all the way down to London. We come back up again. Unless we can find a turn off into Cambridge and then loop around, maybe. That's oh, right, it's going to take us off. That's fine. Oh, oh, oh. Keep left and then exit left. I thought it was a bit strange that we were coming up on, on the M11. We don't normally do that. So we call it a classic fuck one maneuver that is. We'll hog the road. Keep left and then continue straight. Go straight. Alright, we need to get a little shift on now. <laughs> Now we have loads of time. I think we had like a surplus of like four hours on the delivery, so we should be good. Should be good. So we need to pay attention. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame it <laughs> on not listening for one. I'm gonna blame it on my, my increased uh, field of view. <laughs> my GPS is now a lot smaller for me. And it's already been remarked before. I don't. <laughs> the people don't know how they can even see the GPS that I have. But keep right, and then continue straight. So uh, keep right and stay straight. Go straight. Is he letting me out? I think he is. Thanks, sir. Damn it! We don't get caught out again. Hosson now, though. You can tell by the bounce in the truck. If 
We may even reduce the stability a little bit more next time out as well. Oh, coming back over. Because of these weird junctions they've given us. Again, this is not a, a British junction at all. Not at all. I don't want to stay out there though on that on that right hand lane. Because we will obstruct the faster flow in traffic. I do enough of that anyway when I weave up and down it in the middle of the lanes. It's a good job we've got the speed limit on it because I've got a little bit of a heavy foot at the minute. I've been been playing a bit of Forza and a bit of a set of Corsa. A little bit a little bit of Formula One again. So the heavy the heavy foot comes in <laughs> more than usual. So the limit is keeping us legal. Also feeling that little bit of lean in the truck though. Actually, gonna let off for this. Inertia will keep us going. Good for fuel. I don't think I did any truck repairs at the end of the last drop off. And I certainly didn't do none at the start of this trip. So we may still be carrying a little bit of damage from. Hit, I believe we hit the fence, didn't we, on, on the way to the drop off last time? So perhaps we'll look into that in Grimsby. Beautiful again. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? I was going to try and pull out around them, but that Mazda was coming down there a bit quick. Every everyone's pulling out behind me now. I think one of the slower moving one of the slower moving trucks has now pulled out as well in front. There, oh dear. Oh, they, I think perhaps maybe he and I should have stayed more patient. Let the cars come out first, and then we and then we go overtake this one. Oh, this is what we've done now, so. This is what we're doing. So I will get him in a minute. Make sure we're clear and then we'll uh, suck in. Wouldn't be surprised if we get another one of them naffy uh, junctions. We have to go back over to the right. Keep left, then exit left. Oh, we're coming off. We're good. Exit left.
got a feeling we're not that far out. I think we've made good ground. Turn right. Be surprised if we're only just a few miles out. About fifty miles. Hour and twenty. I've got a feeling that'll go pretty quick along this road. So it's now coming up to uh, past three. Even with the uh, the slight detours, a good day's running. Make good ground. Plenty good for fuel. And I imagine that once we arrive, I should think we've probably driven much of the roads in Grimsby, so I might not have to do too much driving around for rest to mark up my mark up my streets in our Conquering Britain challenge, driving down every road, purchasing every garage, kitting them out with uh, full drivers, maybe have one or two left empty so I can jump to them for myself. But if we, if we can upgrade them all to uh, large and then have like four drivers and space for me, then all good with that. If I want to jam a truck in somewhere. A private personal truck. That's sort of what we're using Norwich for. I, w I will put a driver in there. need to do is try and get to work on making some more skins so that we can have different trucks in the fleet or with a Farquhar Freight and SD Logistics logo on. We may even go for a completely new look for the whole for the whole company. To Grimsby. Lovely little seaside town. Looks like we're dropping off in town centre as well. Probably will slow down a little bit. There we go. Look like the rain is heading back out though, doesn't it though? Ever so great, ever so great. Keep right. Uh, we've dropped off here a few times, I think. 
turn right. We're here. We are here. Right on time. That's what we like to hear. Where's our... A little too much sauce on that. We'll go back in a little bit. There we are. Oh, overcorrection. We are coming out, coming out. Swing it in. Come on. There we go. That'll do for us. If they're happy with it, I'm happy with it. That's the rule. So we'll drop off, collect our payment. So it was 301 miles, 7 hours, and uh, 20,883. And that does bring us finally up to level 30. And with that little bonus, we'll stick it in our fragiles. And that does bring us to the 320 threshold that we were hoping to get for buying a new truck so next time out we'll look to uh, purchase a new truck hire ourselves a new driver and then uh, we'll see what sort of jobs there are coming out of grimsby like i said i'd like some small ones that hopefully took us to towns and cities that we've not yet visited we'll see what comes around uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed that one even with our little detour and uh, yeah sorry about the voice and stuff i don't know why i'm having so many troubles today but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comment some feedback down there. And as I said at the top of the episode, you guys that are watching, liking, commenting, sharing, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.